What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another WW2K24 My Faction video. So for today's video, we are going to dive into Faction Wars. And I am actually on the fifth stage, the final stage of this Faction War run that I am on. I went over what Faction Wars are in my beginner's guide to my faction, which you can find somewhere here on the screen. I'll put a link to it if you want to check it out. Appreciate everyone who's checked out that video. Hopefully it helped you get a little bit more knowledge into the new parts of this mode. But we are in the fifth and final stage here. And so we're going to play through the whole run in this video. And then after we're done, we'll look at the rewards, see what we got. Is it worth it? All that good stuff. How challenging this is. Because it's been kind of challenging so far, but not too bad. So let's hop into it here. So as you can see, the final run is all mystery you don't know what any path you can take is you don't know where the matches are going to appear you don't know where the ability to get new cards or upgrades are so everything is a mystery you can also see our squad that we're running with here for the last run we have the bronze breaker card umaga undertaker and john cena and the Umaga Undertaker and John Cena we got for defeating other factions. Okay, so we don't even know, like, who we're fighting, what the match is, anything. So I'll go with the John Cena card for this one since I just got it. We'll try him out. Oh, wow, okay, so this is a faction match. All right, so here we go. I didn't know that this was going to be a faction match, but we are jumping right into a faction war. Four-on-four -four match. Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, Ricochet, and Kane. Kind of an interesting four-way there. Now, these Faction War matches are fun. And if you're unfamiliar with this mode, this is kind of the meat and potatoes of it. These four-on-four -four matches that you get into. But normally, they are just the boss matches. They are not the ones that you do in the beginning. You saw that whole pathway that you take. And normally, those matches are one-on-one, two-on-twos. But this is a four-on-four -four Faction War match. That we are hopping right into here on the jump. God, Kane hits us with another clothesline. And now Kane is going to get a tag to Ricochet. Every time you think you might be able to get through this, they make another tag and they go right back to it. It is not easy to get through this match. Hit Ricochet with the signature here. Definitely not going to be enough here as he just checked into the match, but... We'll hit it anyway, do some damage on Ricochet, go for the cover, we'll give it a shot. And Kane comes in and breaks it up. Hopefully they don't have any more uh, instances where they can get in the ring. I feel like we're getting to that point now in the match where I don't think either team really has it many. They didn't let me bring anybody in. One, two, and three, and finally, whew, we get the win. Umaga gets it done on ricochet all right so now we can either get some credits which i've honestly been getting those for the most part but we are getting to the point now where umaga and bron breaker are pretty low on health so i'm gonna sub out bobby lashley for bron breaker and get a fresh body in here for stage five okay so we went with the top one and we can get a 30 percent armor bonus or apollo cruz I think I'm just going to load up on the armor on my top guys right now and go ahead with Undertaker. So we went top last time. We'll go bottom this time. And this is a really good one. So we can replenish the 25 vitality on all of the superstars that we have, or we can get 284 faction war credits. That's a that's a shit ton of faction war credits. I honestly might go with the credits here, although we could use the health on Umaga, but we're kind of good with the health on everyone else. So I'm going to go with the credits. Okay, so we can replenish either the vitality or limb health of your superstars by one or more credits. So we can get Umaga down to yellow, but that would be the main person that we would be doing it for. Everyone else has nothing on them, but... Umaga's been honestly probably one of the best people that I've used. So I'm going to go with the limb there and take Umaga's damage down a little bit. All right, so it looks like we are going to probably be in another 
faction war match. I think this is all faction war matches. So we'll start off this match with Bobby Lashley. Let him do some damage. Let him get some damage on him as well. And then we'll have Umaga, Undertaker, and Cena, our best cards, fresh. And we have to kind of use Umaga here as almost like a designated hitter. Like he's his health is low. So we'll let him go on the side, get his get his signatures, finishers up a little bit over there. And then we'll bring him in uh, for some damage at some point in the match. That's the strategy, at least. So we're going against the Fang Patrol. Tyler Bate, Axiom, Damian Priest, and I didn't see who the other person was. It is Bruno San Martino. Man, he is kind of a pain in the ass to play, Bruno San Martino. I don't know why, but I've had so much trouble with him. As we're going to go to work here on Tyler Bate a little bit with Bobby Lashley. Again, I think that's a good strategy that I had, which was let's use Umaga as a little bit of like a designated hitter almost. It's kind of, I don't know if there's a better way to put it, what I'm thinking, but basically we don't want him in the match because he's already starting on moderate damage. So let's, let's let him, you know, stay on moderate damage, not get any worse. And then we'll bring him in once other people's uh, health is a little bit lower and we can use him because he's really good and he's uh, he's got a really great move set and he does a lot of damage but he could take like one finisher and be pinned quick which i guess is kind of the other side of it is we're letting them get finishers and if he takes one that could be the end of the match as well you know what we're gonna let bobby lashley continue to do some damage here uh, i wanted to tag in john cena there i actually did not want to tag in umaga but we'll bring him in the big hitter and let him do a little bit of damage and then we'll get him out of the ring before he can get a finisher on him and get pinned with already moderate damage as we need bobby lashley to get the hell out of the ring bobby and you just took a shot to the throat from umaga because you wouldn't get out of my way let's get taker in here the goat and damian priest immediately starts fucking us up oh my oh my goodness what a clothesline by damian priest but we're back up to our feet and we hit him with a epic big boot. God damn, what a big boot that was. So Priest is now stunned, which means it's time to go to work. Let's try and have some fun here. Try and do the super choke slam. Let's see if we can do it. Got to put him up on the top rope and hit him with a choke slam. Oh my goodness, off the top. All right, come on, Imaga. Go over there and help, please. No one's coming in, and it's over! I swear, the computer just comes in, like, whenever they feel like it, which, honestly, I'm cool with. They, you know, that's been a problem in the past with the tag matches, so I'll take it. All right, so that strategy actually worked pretty well, I think, just getting Umaga in there for some offense and then getting him back out, but I'm going to go ahead and tag out Umaga and get in 09 Sheamus for this next run as we will continue on the trail here where should we go uh i guess okay we have two options here i guess let's go let's go here 40 percent armor bonus or we could use ivar well 40 percent armor bonus is a pretty big bonus honestly i'm gonna go with the armor on cena because it just makes cena like really good we are at the final battle we went through all the run we had to face two faction war matches to get to this point and we have finally made it to the end this is it stage five of five you can see the summary here for our run that's the credits we've had see the matches the choices the rewards all the stuff that we've done along the way and we are now at the last match Who's it going to be against? Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, Dirty Dominic Mysterio, and Solo Sokoa. Okay. So this is honestly probably the worst cards, group of cards I faced. So hopefully we can get this done. Let's start out this match with, you know what? Let's start out this match with Super Cena. I mean, he has, I'm calling him that because of all the armor that we put on him. But let's just let him get in there. He has so much armor on him. He can take some of the damage throughout the match if we need him to. And we'll just kind of go from there. But I think that strategy could work out. All right, John Cena and Cody Rhodes getting us started. 
and we're going right after Cody Rhodes. Again, this is it. This is the last match as Cena hits the clothesline on Rhodes. This is the last match. We'll see what type of rewards you get for finishing this up, if any, or if it's just the credits. I'm not quite sure. This is the first time I've ever ran through uh, Faction Wars, so it's been interesting to see, like, you know, picking the armor and picking the different superstars. I feel like I kind of learned some of the strategy and stuff on it for the next time I do a run, but I just want to see, like, if the rewards are worth it, but I guess the cards are limited time and stuff. I'm pretty sure they change in and out, so I guess that's kind of part of the appeal. You know what would have been cool, too? I thought that there would be a War Games element, maybe, to this mode. That'd be really cool if the last match was a War Games match or something like that. But, has it been anything like that? Don't let him get a tag in. Do not let him get a tag. Let's try a little five-knuckle shuffle here. See, I feel like I'm kind of wasting my team coming in the ring, honestly, because they come in and just stand there. And now with the limited amount of times they can come in, it just feels like a waste as go for the cover, Dom's going to break it up. We're going to have no energy left after this. I was going to say, I might try and knock him off the apron, but we got nothing left in the tank. We'll go for the pin. If anything, just to take up the amount of times that the computer can come in. Because eventually they can't come in the ring anymore, and then we can get the win. As, again, I think everyone can only come in the ring one time. Finally make a tag to Randy Orton. So we got to make a tag now as well. Cena's done good. His armor is still really high. But definitely want to get somebody else in this match. Doesn't matter who, as it's going to be The Undertaker who comes in and hits the big boot. And here we go, the dead man now as Cena. Man, he is really hurt, though. He, I feel like he's more tired than anything because he has no damage done. He's really just his stamina that needs to get back up. And then we could just bring Cena back in the match if we want. All right, Randy Orton was too busy taunting. As D Dirty Dom is getting destroyed right now on the outside. We hit the tombstone in the ring. Go for the pin here. I think Solo, yeah, he's the last one that can come in the ring. So I honestly just canceled it because he was just going to break it up anyway. And now I think that it is officially fair game. Anything can happen from here on out. If I understand the new rules correctly as we go for the pin and we get the win. So that worked out okay. We let them exhaust all their ability to get in the ring and then picked up the win. And that's that. You can also see here in the end of the match, I should have showed this a little bit sooner, but you get a decent amount of my faction points. I mean, the matches sometimes can take a while, so it's not a great amount. I guess the match only took 6 minutes and 45 seconds, so it's not terrible. And we're on a 16 win streak on the run. You can see on the top there. And then you also have this challenge tracker, which is pretty cool, where you get tokens and my faction points. You can kind of keep an eye out on that. Okay, so the first thing we get is 2,000 my faction points for the lifetime challenge of defeating a faction conqueror, probably going through the whole thing. We also get the points for the match. Guaranteed credits of 268 faction war credits. And... What else do we get? We got a ticket for challenge completed. All right, so one of my questions I had for this mode, which I'm about to get the answer to, is when you get these Faction War credits, when you buy these cards, can you use them outside of the Faction War mode, or is it just for Faction Wars? I'm hoping that you can use them outside of that. I'm hoping that's like a dumb question, but we are about to find out. Now, I have 3,000 credits. I was hoping I honestly could get to like 4,000 so I could get like this Umaga card or Jay or Roman, but unfortunately I didn't get there. So we're just going to get one of the 3000 faction war point cards because I mean, I'm going to continue to play the mode, so I'll get another one of those cards. So let's see which ones we can get. I also don't know what this like green symbol on top right of all these cards are. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and just get Jimmy Uso here. He could be a fun card to use. I haven't really used him before. And so we'll go ahead and grab Jimmy here. Now our faction points are gone. And so let's go now down to our collection and see if we can find this Jimmy Uso card. Okay, so the fact that they're in your collection gives me a pretty good indication that you can use these cards outside of my faction. 
which if you can, that's that's honestly great. That's a great way to earn cards. Let's see here. Let me go to my main lineup, I guess you would call it. And yep, here he is. So we can go ahead and put Jimmy Uso in. And then we could very easily go up here to ranked play. And we can select Jimmy Uso. So honestly, after my first Faction Wars run, I think it is a pretty good way to earn some cards. I'm hoping that it doesn't get repetitive. I know there's different factions that you can face. Hopefully there's different match types and things as well. The last one I played, there was like a ton of ladder matches. So hopefully that changes up over time. But it is a pretty good way to earn cards for your collection that you can use in other modes. And if you can get through the whole run, you do get a decent amount of my faction points where like a run and a half in, you could get a Sapphire, Jey Uso. If you saved up even more, you can get like a Ruby Rock or, or Yokozuna or something like that. So I honestly think it's a pretty good way to get cards. I'd recommend going through and playing this mode if you haven't already and using it to get some of these some of these cards because there's some good cards in here as well and some pretty, pretty cool ones, some pretty fun ones to use like these John Cena's. So that'll do it. That's our first Faction Wars run completely done and over with. Honestly, I really, I do really enjoy this mode. It is fun to play through. So at least it's also fun while you're earning some of these points for these cards as well. Let me know if you've played Faction Wars yet in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for the likes, comments, everything. As I always say, I appreciate so much the support you guys have shown. You have no idea how much it means to me. Small YouTuber always is great when you guys are commenting, interacting. It means a ton. So thank you so much for everything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Also too, before I forget, comment down below if you want to see anything in the My Faction mode. If you have any questions, if you want to see me play different modes, then feel free to comment that as well in the comment section below because I want to make sure I make videos that you guys enjoy watching. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.